Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros and I'm collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I am really happy to sit down today with Josh Lavais, Simonida Selimovic and Sandra Selimovic. We are here today to talk about um, Forever Holiday for Ima Urlaub or Sukarena Mensa. Um, and as you can see, I've said that in three different languages. So before we get into the work, maybe each of you could um, let me know who you are, where you are, and tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe Sandra, shall we start with you? Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'm Sandra, I'm an actress. Uh, I'm, I started to act, I think, when I was 10, the first time in a uh, series TV in, yeah, in, uh, in TV in Austria. <clears throat> uh, and then with 15, I met uh, uh, one like director and he was like my mentor. So he was my teacher. And since then, I, 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 I think since I, I remember since I, I'm, I was 12, I was always acting, and then I finished uh, 2004 um, my my school uh, like uh, for for acting, and then I started also to direct uh, and um, also to do workshops with uh, people, especially with um, with teenagers or with marginalized people who uh, are need uh, maybe have special needs maybe uh, i was no i was working uh, one year in the um in in the prison for for, uh, for example the name is gangster girls you can see it uh, in the cinema uh, and yeah so uh, we're doing everything and with my sister we founded uh 2010 romano svatro it's a roma feminist uh, theater uh, organization in in austria and vienna and uh, we are very proud of it we are still doing it and we are still very success successful with it yeah fantastic so your sister i'm assuming you mean simonita yes <laughs> just so for for our viewers you two are sisters correct Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's, I think, only natural that we move to Simonita. Simonita, can you tell me a little bit about you um, and your background, please? Yes, I'm Simonita Selimovic Roseka now. Uh, since uh, two months, I, I get married. I uh, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> That's why the Roseka. I uh, started to act when I was like twelve. Okay. together with my sister Sandra in a series, in a TV series in Austria. This was for children. And uh, then I was, I started to model here in Austria in the in international. And in um, like 2002, I started uh, with my acting um, um, education here in austria and yes 2010 we founded romano svato together sander and me and we did a lot of um, plays together and also we were playing in other um i i played a lot also in films in uh, movie movies and and so on Thank you. So again, a real mix between you and Sandra, nice combination there. And so last but definitely not least, Joshlav, you can tell me a little bit about you, your background, your work, please. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. For the, at first of all, thank you for the invitation. And I also want to appreciate my sisters, my companions who are also in the space, Santa and uh, Simonita. We know each other since 2016. So, and I'm really proud that we're creating pieces together also in Berlin. Yeah. Um, I'm an actress, Joshla. I'm an, also an educator in theater. I did my um, exam 2009 and also a master in theater in 2013 in Berlin. So, and then I am also, I'm continuously um, improving my knowledge and skills and acting. 
um, yeah, I was also playing in different documentary films and the last documentary we had created in um, Turing, uh, in the ehemalige GDR uh, about the Sinti and Roma people in the GDR and it was really, really um, touching and moving and um, yeah, this is now playing for one year in, in the television. And also our play um, City of Liberated People is involved in this documentary. So I am a little bit proud of this, uh, uh, of this um, values. Genau. And my main artistic focus is on, I did. Oh, you have I, notes. That's great. I did a prep, you know, and I'm a little bit excited always. Sure, I sure. I feel like, oh, woo. Yes, yes. <laughs> And my, my artistic focus is mainly on movement and dance. I'm dancing since, two, since 2010. Okay. So, and now we, yeah, I never finish. That's, sure, sure. And that's that's mainly my, my focus in artistic and, uh, um, yeah, I have film and theater experiences. Yes. As well. So, a lovely powerhouse here of women. And um, maybe, Sandra, you can tell us a little bit about your role in the um the, the work for Ever Holiday. Um, I think you were the director, correct? So if you could. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, uh, so it was uh, actually, um, uh, I mean, I was directing it, but it was a collective work because uh, we, um, uh, we, I think we took six months or some, something like that, or, or, or even more, uh, like re really time also to, to do like um, acting, like um, acting classes for the for for the uh, the not children, like for the teenagers, because we want them really to be good and to and uh, not just to have this kind of level, like school theater. You know, you, we wanted really to have a good like uh, uh, um, at least semi professional level. So we really worked hard. Uh, on on acting classes and then we we did together like um, uh, with uh, Han Al Taher with the with the uh, dramaturg we had uh, always like meetings and uh, we we did um, improvisations yeah improvisation improvisations like with with the teenagers and then we took the best out in one impro improvisation and wrote it down and this is how we uh, we actually wrote the play like with the improvisation uh, with the teenagers together and then um yeah we, we were working on the scenes but it was really like a process of of a minimum six months and not like a typical form four or six weeks rehearsing and then you know playing it was really like a, a process which i also liked because it was really an opportunity to you really know the the teenagers and their life and their problems and their day-by-day -day struggles and also like that they could contribute to the play it was not just us that we we were like um uh, overwhelming overwhelming them them with some something like yes uh, we want this and this to, to uh, you to say in the play so they contributed a lot yeah, so it was very well, kind of organic from them. They could exactly, contribute in a way. Yeah, yeah, and, and and it was also based on a true story. This this I also have to say, or maybe Joshua can say that, um, uh, with these two teenagers, what happened to them. So it was a very like, um, uh, it, 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 it was very personal for everybody because everybody contributed with something uh, personal what uh, they ex uh, experienced in their life and also based on this true story okay. which happened uh, so yeah uh, I, I really liked it and um, the teenagers they really were so authentic that people in the end uh, really didn't believe that they were not actors. They were like really still, yeah. <laughs> you know, like there's they still go to school. It's like oh, no, sure. they're not. They're not actors. Yeah. They're really surprised. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Joshla, can you tell me a little bit about your role in the in the work? Um, were you 
um yeah can you can you speak a bit about your your play your as an actress in the work yes <clears throat> yeah at first of all i was not an actress i was um a staff in amaro drum so and we had a youngster who get deported overnight two brothers mm -hmm. this is the story what santa was uh talking about a little bit and um this is the background of all so they became overnight refugees yeah you know we we were talking about the fact that more than 200 people get deported at this night and the, the two brothers and mostly of them were roma Okay. And this was our drive to to talk about that story. Mm -hmm. And I can okay. add, I can add that me and the drama talk, we were we were going to. I uh, know we we went. No, we fly it to to the Kosovo directly to the village where the brothers are and did interviews with them. Okay. And the, that was really not a surprising fact, but there was a. A whole village were talking in German, so yeah, and uh, yeah, we were talking with the brothers, with the family, and filming that, and also get the feeling of how they're living there, what are their questions, problems, yeah. situation they are living in, so, yeah, and to bring that to Germany to show no, 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 that was not a good uh, decision. Yes. Deportation is not a solution for mm -hmm. humanity and yeah, that was mm -hmm. the first part. And then I was writing the idea down, mm -hmm. we get the found of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we did the improvisation pro process of really six months that was really interesting and yeah. Yeah. I was an actress then. Okay. For the last six months. Yeah, okay, okay. So you really also had a very long relationship with the work. Um, and it sounds like, you know, as Sandra said, there was six months, or if not more, that allowed all of you to be really sit with the work, sit with the stories, work with the young people. Um, Simonita, do you, do you want to tell us a little bit about your role in the work and your contribution? Yeah. Yes. Actually, I was the last one who uh, came in in this project. Okay. Um, yes, because uh, one other, uh, it, it was an um, actor, a man, who mm -hmm. was playing first my role. Okay. And then he couldn't. And uh, we talked about the solution, Sandra and me. Okay. And uh, I gave her the solution, but maybe it's good to, uh, that uh, our two sisters are playing this if you find another actress and they asked me Joshla and Sandra do you want to join us and I was like ah oh, okay why not and then I'm I, but I was um, I mean I had a little baby and I fly with the the baby with Samuel to Berlin with him yeah and I played this role and actually mm. it was very uh, emotional on one on one side because I mean um, we had uh, this also in uh, our families that uh, were people deported and also then to play this role to be the uh, I mean to uh, that your children are deported and you could stay in Germany uh, because in my story was I have to stay there because uh, of sickness, yeah. uh, Germany, the I mean, they allowed uh, the mother, sometimes they allowed parents to stay. And if the children are over 15, they deport them. Okay. okay. Yeah. And um, to know about this, I didn't know about this. This was very new for me. I felt very sorry, and um, also I uh, then I remembered about situations in our families, mm. and uh, I talked also to my aunt. Mm. She was deported from Germany to Serbia, mm. and um, I mean, yeah, in this situation, how to play? You know, I mean, on one hand, to know the, some people, but thanks God it's the, it doesn't happen to me. Sure, sure. And this was also the thing. And then also in um, my my son, 
the middle one he played also in he was uh, oh. one of the players yeah okay uh, and oh, uh, yeah so it sounds like there's a lot of with layers to the work and each of you had a very um a different attachment to it and contribution and also a looking at your own personal relationships and you know and and how that if it enters if it doesn't and i think one of the powers about the work that i found um was you know you don't as you just said at an age someone gets deported and on paper or in the media it might look like a very like a fact oh we just sent these people there or we deport them after 15 years old but what i think the work does is it makes it human and it says well actually these are children being deported or these are people and these are stories that you can't just once you send them away forget about them they live on and there's a a, a cultural legacy there and i think that that's one of the powers of the work and now simony that to know that you were initially it was a, a role for a man and you walked into this and so you had to reshape it can you tell me a little bit about that process i don't know sandra as maybe director or someone who was supporting the collective process what that was yeah. like. it was uh, a little bit we we were thinking maybe maybe to do something like uh, a lesbian um a uh, couple like Yoshla and Simonida, but um, I mean, me, I am personally, I am a lesbian, but um, uh, I was, uh, I didn't like, I didn't like it in this case, in this story, to to add it also as a as a lay as a, as another layer in this in this play because um, the story itself with uh, the deportation with the teenagers and and so on was already so strong mm. that uh, i didn't want it to put another uh, uh, topic like something with lgbt it was for me like too much like um, it was not necessary in in this in this situation because uh, there were other other things which were for me in this moment uh, more more important than also to add something with uh, LGBT rights or whatever. Yeah. You know, it might be just trying too hard and it doesn't breathe. Yeah, because yeah. you mix then too much, uh, too much uh, like uh, all these all these topics of discrimination and intersectionality. But uh, in this case, it was a little bit too, too much. Also for the teenagers itself, uh, like then to think, okay from who is the mother then they they uh, adopted them they're not the real mothers you know then sure. you you really had to to rethink and also change a lot of the play if um if they were like really like a lesbian couple and they just not just like um maybe uh um, um one was the mother and the other other not or they they adopted them yeah it was it, it right. would be too complicated sure. and we, we really wanted to put this uh, deportation uh, topic uh, in the focus mm. so that's why i decided no you both please uh, be sisters and not like a couple you know yeah. even yeah. though that i would like to see it in, uh, <laughs> of course everywhere but uh, also like if you think politically uh, of what you want to, to talk about, then you really have to decide what is really the, 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 the subject, like the main subject. Sure. And if, 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 is there a memorable moment for, for any of you in thinking about either the process of creating the work or in performing the work? Is there something that comes to mind that you remember that feels like a memorable moment you'd like to share? Maybe Joshla, would you like to share? Okay. Um, the funny, absurd moments, you know, the special on that play at the end for me, that we have a really hard topic and it was really funny. So mm -hmm. it's deep, it's funny, and it's uh, it is um, it's a hard topic, you know. It's really, mm -hmm. and that was for me really memorable. The funny, absurd moment in the um, immigration office, for example, 
uh, the scene where we have with this uh, food and all the stuff and it was so funny with the with the clock and oh mm. yeah I like it I, I was really enjoy yeah as an actress to play that and with my with, with my colleagues it was yeah. the play is just interesting because it is funny and serious at the same time mm. Yeah. And I mean, in the immigration office, suddenly I'm pegging a bag of food and offering sausages and chicken and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 does something like that happen in an immigration office? Never, never. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I really liked that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, but the, uh, it was a humor, um, and every one of us understood it because we know this balkan lifestyle and yeah. also this roma lifestyle yeah. how the people are thinking you know even when you suffer you uh, your humor is always there and you have to use it i mean and to have it because this is life yeah. Also, I mean, to, uh, to stay alive, you know, and then suddenly dancing somewhere, you know, in this migration yeah. uh, <laughs> office. This was, uh, everyone agrees, everybody, even the director <laughs> does dancing on this office, you know, because of, oh, okay, we are waiting for passport, what to do, just dance yeah. <laughs> and share food. <laughs> and yeah and this uh to also to share these stupid things yeah 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 and i think that you know it's one of the kind of lightness that that's as we you know been talking about that this kind of human side like you know this is happening but let's just also be in the moment you know yes yes joshla did you want to say yeah. something yeah, i just want to add every roma people who were in, on the audience they understood and i think this is really really special we're creating mm -hmm. a romano code yes you know yes. and that's really beautiful i really appreciate that yeah yeah and i think that's important also yeah. for I, I really... go ahead sandra go ahead no i want I, I really like the scene where uh, they, they arrived in in Kosovo, like they were deported and then they arrived on, on the air, airport and they were waiting for the family and then uh, we were like uh, doing something like you have a very small car where maybe you think two people fit but then 10 people come out <laughs> and say hello, you know, like yeah. very loud kissing everybody, taking these two kids who were deported, uh, uh, putting them somehow, you know, in the <laughs> car, and then uh, they had this this this, this uh, drive, uh, which was very very funny, and with music, and they also had party and and eating meat and smoking and very loud music. It was so funny, and I really loved this moment when they had to go out of the car, and you saw you saw a very small car, and then ten people going oh, yeah. coming out. Like, where did you put them? You know? yeah. uh, this was really my favorite. Yeah, yeah really, it was very funny. Yeah. And I think also the difference is uh, because we had also once uh, one dramaturg told us, you know, this is good that you could show this kind of stories because mm -hmm. if a gajo or the gajo will show this kind of stories, this would be very cliche and yeah. uh, stereotypical mm. and racist you know yeah. but if we show it from our perspective and with our humor and uh, with um, I mean with people yeah. with real people also with real stories it's another completely other story then you could take it and you can uh, you could understand yes and i think that's a really important point that you raise that when it comes from the community from us and it's shared it has the nuances and the kind of lived experience and so we know how to kind of share it and what is or isn't offensive and maybe some could argue it's cliche but it's not because it's also there's a reality to that to that and we know how to share that when to share it and 
it's ours and it's ours to share and we decide when or not to share that and i think that's a really important point that if when it's done maybe by someone who's not from the community it has then the potential to be a bit tone deaf and not you know you don't get to wear a roma identity you know we're just from the community and then that becomes a sharing of of that we've chosen to share and let you into on the code as you said joshla so no absolutely i think that's a really good point and is there anything else that you wanted the audience to know about the production i know you said sandra that you wanted definitely deportation to be um the you know and we've discussed and heard human stories and you know, this kind of resilience that the community has, but is there anything else? Was there ever like a message that you guys felt, okay, this is something I want to definitely communicate to the audience or to viewers? Mm. Silence. <laughs> I yes, no, I, you said it. Okay, I think, I think you've got the points across. Absolutely. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to share about the work maybe that I haven't asked you, but that feels important to discuss? Uh, yes, maybe freedom and responsibility is mm. my message, you know. Um, nothing, I mean, this is from Eriak. I don't want to copy some sure. thoughts who are not for me, but I would say it at the same level at the same time. Um, nothing without us mm. about us. Yeah. That's about not, that's not my um, uh, my sure. thought, and I, I I absolutely agree with that. And you know, and I would love to that Germany, for example, I'm living in Germany, take more responsibility. They take we get another found so uh, yeah. to create more on it because we are deliver really deep and really big issues we deliver that we live we deliver values and we do it for our communities mm -hmm. so i mean who's going to the german theater yeah. no roma and cindy i mean yeah. especially a few are really interested in but it's not that the topics who are on the stage Absolutely. are for us the only thing the only play is roma roma um um nah? On Gorky Theater, my sisters are playing the main role. Huh? Roma. Yes. Roma. So that's the only play in Germany I know already yeah. <laughs> who involve also Roma people that they can understand. So yeah. that's my message at the end. Yeah. More pieces for us and with us. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think that is, you know, a lovely place to, to end this conversation with that powerful message, you know, and reflecting on the work, you know, it was important for me to try to say, you know, forever holiday for Ima Urlaub, Sukarana Mensa in the three languages, because I think that the work is, is going into various crossing many boundaries and even though you're looking at deportation you know you're not trying to create more boundaries you're trying to open them and say you know let's look at people let's honor those stories um and you've done it in such a beautiful way and a very respectful way and funny way as well so thank you so much thank you you watch it Yes, you watch it? yes, I have. Yes, yes. Before I we sit down with you, I watch all of the works, and yes, yes. So yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for for sharing your memories and your experiences of creating the work. And I'm sure our viewers really um, enjoyed hearing about um, the three of you and 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 the work. So thank you so much. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa.